Pete Sauber, Tech Director for Theater Boston Court, on the uh, soon-to-be-completed set for Edmunds L. Ray. Uh, as you can see, we're uh, doing a little primer work on the paint here. Uh, we were told to tint the primer ahead of time red so that we get a pink, so we get a red cover. So it is not going to be a Pepto-Bismol set, even though it does look a little like that right now. Uh, what we're building here, most of this set, it's very simple, yet very elegant at the same time. Uh, this is the story of Oedipus transposed to the prison and specifically uh, Latino community. Uh, so this is going to be our main prison cage. The chorus will be behind here, and any time they assume other roles, they exit stage right and re-enter stage right, and action is done downstage. One of the coolest parts about the design of the, the cage itself is eventually this is going to appear as if it's floating above. The supports underneath are not going to be as visible. And the force perspective is such on the set that it doesn't look like the set is bigger, but it makes, because it gets smaller as you go stage right, the actors in relation to the set appear to get larger. And it will help to reinforce the idea that they're coming from a long ways away. And stepping into a different reality. 